Across the globe, magnificent structures pierce the sky. They stand as testaments to human ingenuity and ambition. The pyramids of Giza, silent sentinels in the desert. The Taj Mahal, a pearl of perfection beside the Yamuna River. Angkor Wat, a sprawling stone city hidden in the Cambodian jungle. The Temple of Heaven, a celestial sanctuary in the heart of Beijing. These monuments captivate us with their beauty and scale. They inspire awe and wonder, drawing millions of visitors each year. Yet behind the grandeur lies a more complex story. For every stone laid in glory, there is a tale of struggle and sacrifice. Join me on a journey through time and across continents. The pyramids of Giza rise from the Egyptian sands like mountains of human creation. Built around 2560 BCE, they have stood for over 4,500 years. The Great Pyramid of Khufu, the largest, once towered 146.5 meters high. Today it still reaches an impressive 138.8 meters into the sky. Its base covers an area of more than 13 acres. But the awe-inspiring beauty of the pyramids masks a darker reality. They were built not by willing laborers, but by a workforce of 20,000 to 30,000 men. These workers toiled for decades under harsh conditions. They hauled massive limestone blocks, each weighing 2.5 tons, up ramps hundreds of feet long. Accidents were common, and many workers died during construction. The pyramids also represent a stark inequality in ancient Egyptian society. The resources poured into these monuments could have improved the lives of thousands. The Taj Mahal gleams like a pearl against the blue Indian sky. Built between 1632 and 1653, it is a masterpiece of Mughal architecture. The mausoleum's pure white marble dome seems to float above its gardens. Intricate inlays of precious and semi-precious stones adorn its walls. Emperor Shah Jahan commissioned the Taj Mahal as a tomb for his beloved wife, Mumtaz Mahal. It stands as a symbol of eternal love visited by millions each year. The symmetry of its design is perfect, reflecting Mughal ideals of paradise. Yet the story of the Taj Mahal is not solely one of romance. Its construction came at a great cost to the Mughal Empire. Some historians estimate that building the Taj Mahal nearly bankrupted the empire. The labor force that built the Taj Mahal also paid a heavy price. The Taj Mahal's beauty is thus tinged with the sacrifice of those who built it. Angkor Wat emerges from the Cambodian jungle like a stone mirage. Built in the early 12th century, it is the largest religious monument in the world. Its five central towers rise like lotus buds, surrounded by a vast moat. The temple complex covers over 400 acres, a city of sandstone in the heart of the forest. However, the grandeur of Angkor Wat came at a steep price for the Khmer Empire. The massive construction project strained the empire's resources. It required a vast workforce and an enormous amount of stone. Scholars estimate that 5 to 10 million sandstone blocks were used. The environmental impact of building Angkor Wat was significant. Large areas of forest were cleared for agriculture to support the workforce. The temple that was meant to glorify the empire may have played a role in its downfall. The Temple of Heaven stands as a masterpiece of Chinese architecture and cosmology. Built between 1406 and 1420, it covers an area of 273 hectares in Beijing. The complex was designed to facilitate annual ceremonies of prayer for good harvest. The most iconic building is the Hall of Prayer for Good Harvests. This triple gabled circular building sits atop a three-tier marble terrace. It was built entirely of wood without using a single nail. Yet the beauty of the Temple of Heaven masks a history of exclusion and inequality. For centuries it was off limits to ordinary citizens. Only the Emperor and a select few could enter its sacred precincts. The construction and maintenance of the Temple of Heaven also placed a burden on the populace. While the Emperor prayed for abundance, many of his subjects struggled with poverty and famine. Section 6, The Price of Grandeur, Labour and Lives. Behind every magnificent monument lies a story of human toil. The pyramids, the Taj Mahal, Angkor Wat and the Temple of Heaven all were built by the hands of thousands. 
In ancient Egypt, workers on the pyramids lived in nearby towns. Recent excavations have revealed their living conditions. While not slaves, these workers led hard lives. They suffered from arthritis and other ailments due to the back-breaking labor. Many died young, their bones showing signs of stress and injury. The Taj Mahal's construction involved artisans from across Asia and Europe, but it also required an army of laborers. These men and women worked long hours in the hot Indian sun. At Angkor Wat, the scale of labor was immense. The work was dangerous and exhausting. Section 7, Environmental Impact, Nature's Toll. The construction of great monuments has always come at a cost to the environment. In ancient Egypt, the building of the pyramids had far-reaching ecological consequences. The massive quarrying operations changed the landscape. Forests were cleared to make way for ramps and workers' settlements. The Nile's annual floods were harnessed to transport stone, altering the river's natural cycles. The Taj Mahal's environmental impact continues to this day. The white marble is yellowing due to air pollution. Nearby factories and vehicle emissions are corroding the stone. The Yamuna River, once a source of beauty, is now heavily polluted. Groundwater depletion in the area has caused the monument's wooden foundations to rot. Ironically, the very icon of eternal love faces a battle against environmental decay. Section 8. Social hierarchies, monuments to power. Monumental architecture has always been a tool of the powerful. The pyramids were not just tombs, but statements of pharaonic might. They proclaimed the godlike status of the rulers to all who beheld them. The massive labor force required to build them reinforced social stratification. At the top were the pharaoh and the priesthood. At the bottom were the workers who gave their lives to the project. The Taj Mahal, for all its beauty, was an assertion of Mughal imperial power. It showcased the empire's wealth and artistic sophistication, but it also highlighted the vast gulf between the ruling class and ordinary people. Angkor Wat served a similar function in the Khmer Empire. The Temple of Heaven in Beijing was the exclusive domain of the emperor. Section 9. Conclusion Embracing the Duality. As we stand before these magnificent monuments, we are filled with awe. The pyramids of Giza reaching for the sky. The Taj Mahal, a dream in marble. Angkor Wat, a stone tapestry in the jungle. The Temple of Heaven, a bridge between earth and sky. They represent the pinnacle of human achievement, yet we must also acknowledge the darker aspects of their creation. The toil of countless laborers, many of whom died in the process. The environmental impact that continues to this day. The reinforcement of social hierarchies and unequal power structures. By embracing this duality, we gain a richer appreciation of our shared human heritage.